to my channel. So today I am sharing my favorite mechanical keyboards. These are the keyboards that I'm currently using and in rotation. And I wanted to give you a rundown of each of them, whether it's with the price and my thoughts on them. I've had a lot of questions in the past couple of months about these keyboards. So I would love to share more on that with you guys. Keyboards are one of my favorite things on my desk. They just make me happy and I get to type on them and hear the sounds. So if you're looking for tips on creating your own productive um, desk setup, I did do a video that I will link up in the cards up above and down below. Um, you can go check it out. And if you want to see my full keyboard collection and my keyboard journey, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do a more in-depth video with you guys. And if you haven't been to my channel yet, welcome. My name is Holly from Life with Holly Lifestyles. I'm so excited to share with you my life as an entrepreneur and my tips and tricks for business. And I've been doing a lot of more productivity videos and desk setup videos so if you like any of that or all of that make sure you're subscribed a little disclaimer before I get started is that I'm still an amateur with mechanical keyboards I haven't had time to really learn about the insides of a mechanical keyboard I know like the minimum the basics of it um, because first it can be a pretty expensive hobby and second I don't really have that much time to learn um, so I just wanted to note that none of my keyboards are lubed or have any kind of like um, work to it. So basically everything is just straight from the box. And another disclaimer is that I might be saying the name of the company's wrong or even the product wrong. So please bear with me. I'll make sure to have um, everything written down out here so you can go check it out and also have everything linked down below so you can just click it and see the product right away. And obviously I'm going to do a little sound test for you guys. But yeah, so let's get started. So the first keyboard I have is my absolute favorite. If you see me looking over there I'm looking at my notes to make sure I share everything that um, I had noted down for you guys so here is my absolute favorite keyboard this is the Osum keys Dalgona X Aurora keyboard this is um, $240 I believe they had a version where it was not built you can build it yourself but I purchased the pre-built version because I just didn't want to deal with any of that and just wanted to just do an unboxing on my Instagram and TikTok so I just opt in for this um, the keyboard itself was um, a collaboration with WooQ Studio um, this is the IKKI 68 Aurora um, I really really love it I wish they sold these keyboards again so hopefully they will the downside about this is that they do not sell the keyboard version anymore they only sell these keycaps which I still absolutely love um, the colors are definitely my favorite it has a very nice slim profile um, so it fits on my desk really really well since I do have a lot of stuff on my desk the sound of this is my favorite I believe it's their own um, collaboration um, switches so there's my very very first keyboard and then my absolute favorite and I'm so sorry that you can't get this anymore um, but hopefully they will have different versions in the future I love Osum keys a lot of the stuff I'm going to share with you is from Osum keys so yeah so my next keyboard here is the Monarchy um, standard this was $140 it came with white key caps it was really really nice they actually sounded really really nice compared to with these Osum keys that I have um, but I obviously did switch them to these pretty year of the rabbit Osum keys they're super super cute um, they even have little icons that's what I love about Osum keys is that they um, have really beautiful color profiles and color palettes and then they also have novelty kits which are little um, designs designs of that collection is super cute. So for this keyboard itself, it's really heavy, it's nice and very, very um, premium in my perspective. This was $140 um, and it came with white keycaps so you can just use it as is and then kind of um, start saving to get keycaps if you're looking at that. But these are the two most used keyboards that I've had um, for the past couple of months at least. And I always switch keycaps um, on video with this keyboard itself. The sound isn't as great as obviously um, the Osum keys Dalgona one because they have their own switches. The rest of my switches are probably brown switches. I just chose that one and then just kept choosing it. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. But 
Um, I love the layout also. Um, as you've seen, everything is not cramped. Other keyboards that I'll show you, a lot of the stuff is cramped together, but this one kind of feels like a regular keyboard that you would normally get um, for work and um, in general. So that's what I love about this. This one's a lot bigger compared to the Osum keys, so it does look a little bit um, busy when it's on my desk because I do have a lot of stuff, but yeah. But overall, I love this keyboard and I will continue to use it and switch out of that. So I want to do an honorable mention. Um, before I had this mono key one, I actually had this Yunzu KC84 wireless keyboard kit. It was $65 and that was without the switches and without the keycaps. Um, I ended up purchasing some Amazon um, Echo lavender switches to kind of try building my, my own keyboard. Um, it's more like a slight custom build. so. I just wanted to test it out. So this is the only keyboard that is not a brown switch. Um, and as you see, it is the layout is a little bit more um, cramped together. I still wanted to mention this because this was really popular on TikTok and people wanted to know more about it. Um, I did have a video on how I kind of created this. So I will link it down below for you guys to check out. But right now I just have some Osum keys. I believe this is the Sakura um, keycaps, super pretty. Um, and the build is okay. I love how it's wireless, so that's really good. Um, don't have to have a cord with you. Um, but the build is not obviously as nice as the mono key, but it definitely is something that you should start off with if that's something you're looking for. It's, it would definitely be more affordable compared to the other ones. So let's talk gaming keyboards now. These are the gaming keyboards that I have either on my desk or downstairs in my gaming room. So the first one is my first expensive pre-built. This is the KBD Fans Tofu 60. It was $190. It came with um, blue and yellowy keycaps, which I don't use anymore. It was just, I just bought it because it came with the keycaps. Um, but I did switch them out to these ones here. These are the Yunzi's Lavender rabbits keycap set which is super cute has little rabbits and this is more like obviously not the aesthetic of life with holly so that's why i've been using it downstairs in the gaming room it just looks super cute and i do like the cutesy stuff but um i try to keep it minimal up here so when i first got into gaming i did purchase like more affordable keyboards and then this was my first kind of like expensive um version um i love the white of this tofu i love the style and everything and it does light up which is super cool and super cute um so obviously a lot of gaming keyboards are lit up anyways um, but I switched into these new keycaps and then I haven't really used it since so um, that's why the keycaps look super neat because it is a white but hopefully I'll be using it soon when I start streaming again so stay tuned for that I'll link down my um, twitch um, down below so you can follow me and see me um, stream in the upcoming months And then last but not least, I want to chat about my Logitech G Aurora keyboard. A disclaimer first, I got this as a gift from a peer company. I've been eyeing the collection since it launched and um, even bought the headphones for it. So when they said they wanted to send me this, I was super happy because at first I didn't want to buy this. It was a lot it was really expensive if you bought the whole collection, obviously. Um, so I opted into the headphones instead. So when they sent me this, I was super happy and very, very grateful. Um, everything I talk about is all opinions on my own. This is my favorite gaming keyboard. It came with a mouse, which is super amazing and super pretty to have it together as a duo. Um, and I definitely enjoy this one more than the KBD fans because obviously this one is wireless too, so it's good. And Logitech stuff is just amazing. Um, everything works together really, really well, whether it's for PC or for Mac. So that's what I love about it. It has like little buttons on top and technically you can like remove this plate and um, 
at different color plates, but I love it white. So I'm just gonna stick it with this white. I have to say that when Logitech G released this Aurora collection, I thought it was super cool because it's perfect for any cozy girl gamer. Um, usually their keyboards are like black or very like masculine. And I love how you can switch it out. So that's just like really, really cool. And you probably have seen that I use their Cloud Wrist Rest um, a lot. And that's just basically on my desk all the time. It came with a keyboard. I don't know if it still does but you can purchase this wrist rest separate now so that's super exciting I know a lot of people have been asking me about this I just want to mention this so you guys can know that you can actually still get it now so I've been using my steam deck that I got a while ago and I'll be using this along with my the gaming mouse that came with to um, use that on here so that I can still have that gaming feel with um, this keyboard so I'm so excited for that Yeah, those are all the keyboards that I'm currently using and in rotation. I do have a lot more that I collected before this, so if you want the whole um, full keyboard collection and the journey about it, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and I helped you in any way. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and comment down below any other videos you would like to see. And don't forget to follow me at Life with Holly Lifestyles on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.